What's up all you Easter peeps and peepettes, Toy Shiz here and I got a really rockin' video for you today. We are totally gonna be checking out all the brand new, newly released images of the Spider-Man Far From Home Marvel Legends wave. These look fantastic. And special shout out to Dorkside Toys. They were the first ones to post about them. Go and check them out for all your toy buying needs. Now, first and foremost, we are getting a Spider-Man Noir-ish set. Comes with an extra head and he comes with the right arm and a piece of the rebar for the Build-A-Figure. If you didn't know what the Build-A-Figure is, well, I'll tell you right at the end of this video. Spoilers. Why he's wearing this suit in the movie. There's a lot of different rumors going about, but I'm excited to see how they implement it most definitely. Next up, we're getting the standard kind of Steve Ditko-ish black and red Spider-Man that we're going to be seeing probably throughout most of this movie. Big fan of this costume. I think it's great. It's a nice little change up to the red and the blue. He comes with extra hands, but no Build-A-Figure piece. So this Spider-Man is a complete, just if you want him, you don't want him, that kind of thing. There's seven figures, but really only six to get the Build-A-Figure. It looks to be a rather interesting Spider-Man. I'm excited to see the articulation on him. But like I said, you get extra hands. Not a whole heck of a lot going on in the package, but it would have been nice to see an extra head. Something to that caliber is the doppelganger and I am so excited for this figure you have no idea one step closer to my maximum carnage finality of the line and I'm a huge fan of the old toy biz doppelganger I know he utilizes the same as the old six arm spotty that nobody was really that big a fan of I get it I liked him but they're utilizing this for the doppelganger now and I think he looks fantastic I'm excited to have this figure he looks menacing he looks creepy and he comes with the left arm for the build a figure very excited for this. I, I love the doppelganger. I love Maximum Carnage. This is the one I'm probably the most excited about. There are a lot in this wave I'm most excited about, but this one is taking the top spot. Next up is that Super Stalker Mori Bench, aka the Hydro Man. He's next up in the wave, and he actually looks fantastic. Now, he was revealed at New York Toy Fair, but we were all kind of hoping maybe he gets some human arms, but he's got water arms, and he's totally reminiscent of the Toy Biz days. He and Doppelganger, they're actually of the exact same wave from back in the day for the old animated series, and he's sporting those hydro arms. If he has water pump action, that just, that's going to put him over the edge, baby. I'm excited for this figure. I think he looks great. He comes with the head of the Build-A-Figure. I'm stoked on this. You gotta use the old water parts from the Toy Biz, and this is gonna make for a great updated Hydro Man figure. Everyone's favorite Iron Man, the animated series, Spider Woman. Julia Carpenter is making her wave to her Marvel Legends. Now, this isn't the first Julia Carpenter figure that we've gotten. There was one back in the day, but it looks to be a great updated Spider Woman figure. She comes with the upper torso of the build a figure. Looks like one of those Monster Venom build a figure, kind of like the you just kind of enclose the upper torso together like two halves. She looks great. I'm excited to have an updated Spider-Woman figure, especially with this costume. We're almost this close to getting the entirety of the 90s Tony Stark Iron Man days as well. So you got Spider-Man the Animated, Iron Man the Animated. This is making for some great figures in this wave. And she comes with an extra hand accessory with a shooting out webs. Everyone's favorite silly sap, the Scorpion, is making his return to Marvel Legends. A lot of returns to glory in this wave. However, he is sporting his old original first appearance costume, which I absolutely love. All the updated articulation, a giant massive bendy wire tail. This is going to make for a great, great Scorpion. The first one that they did was fantastic. I'm hoping they beat it, but I don't know. i wait to see. This is going to be just a really sweet looking scorpion and again one step closer to kind of finalizing an updated version of the sinister six scorpion comes with the right leg foot of the build a figure i'm excited to see old mag gargan come back man this green costume is killer now quentin beck he seems to be making his triumphant rise to stardom everything is about mysterio he was the big ticket figure for last year and now this far from home movie version is really killing it. Jake Gyllenhaal takes over the mantle of the Mysterio. This figure is a rock, and I love the sculpt. They always go all out with their movie figures. It comes with extra hands, and also comes with the left foot of the build a figure piece. This Mysterio, he, it, it's it's a really cool looking Mysterio. I'm so glad they kept the fishbowl for the movie. It just wouldn't have been Mysterio without him. I'm so excited to see what they're gonna do with him 
as a character, he's going to start off maybe trying to be a good guy and have all these weird, quote-unquote, creature people, Hydra Man, Molten Man, all that kind of stuff, uh, attacking, and it's leading up to something big. I can't wait to see Far From Home. I can't wait to have this figure. This one, this one's looking rad. Who is the Build-A-Figure? And it looks like a lot of hunches were right. Looks like my hunch was right here in Monster Weird Something Different. The Molten Man. Good old Mark Raxton is making his Marvel Legends debut in a movie form. We haven't gotten a Marvel Legends exact comic book version of the Molten Man. But you know what? This guy's looking pretty cool. Now he does look a little clay ish We'll say that. I want to see how they utilize him in the movie. He's got this really nice gold molten lava looking thing going on. I'm just curious to see how he's going to do. He looks interesting. I'm not going to say anything until I have it in hand. I need to see it up close, in my hands, how it moves, does all that kind of stuff. I like the bits and pieces of rebar sticking out of him. He does have that end of Spider-Man 3, Sandman sort of thing going on as well. I'm not 100% sold, but I am curious. And you know what? It's another Spider-Man villain a little bit of an updated Spider-Man villain, to be quite honest with you. You can go in the movie, you can go in the comic book way, it still might look nice on your shelf. So, it just remains to be seen how exactly he finalizes when you actually get him off the shelf. So, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you guys think about this new Spider-Man Far From Home Marvel Legends wave? What are the characters you want? Any favorites? Any of them going like, nah, you know what, not so much that one. For me, it's kind of the Molten Man. I'm kind of indifferent on him. I like all the other characters. A lot of them are ones that we have seen before, but you know what? That's just how it goes, man. And a lot of them, they could use some extra updated articulation. A lot of them still hold their weight. So once you have them in hand, let's do a comparison, see how they really stack up. Again, shout out and a thank you to Dorkside Toys. They're the first ones to post the photos. Give them all the credit. Go talk to them for your early action figure and toy needs. The great thumbs up. Thank you again. Look for these probably starting around May. I'm going to say more towards the end of May. Might be kind of interspliced somewhere in there, but I'm going to say May leading into about June for the July Spider-Man release. I'm going to leave you guys with that. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, do all that great stuff. Let's talk some Spider-Man toy action. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, happy holidays, Easter, whatever you do, whatever you celebrate. Just make sure you get out there and you find some rad toys. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.